Plugging and wrapping of glasswares are done prior to sterilization to prevent post-processed contamination of the media and tools to be used in a microbiology experiment. Exposure of media to air alone can provide significant sources of contaminants such as bacteria and fungi. Thus, plugging and wrapping of test tubes, flasks, and petri plates will prevent any contaminants from the ambient air or immediate surrounding to contaminate the tools to be used for microbiological analysis. After plugging and wrapping the glasswares, they are then subjected to a sterilization. There are two objectives of, of this exercise. First, to understand the principles behind the plugging and wrapping of glasswares before sterilization. Second, to know the proper way of preparing glasswares and other materials for sterilization. Wrapping is a technique done to prevent contamination of the petri plates and pipettes after they have been autoclaved. In wrapping pipettes, cut a piece of paper lengthwise, lay the paper on the table, and place the pipette near the tip. Fold the paper until the whole length of the pipette is covered. Fold the tip of the paper, seal with the masking tape, then label the pipette with its volume or capacity. Reusable glass petri plates are wrapped in bond papers to prevent contamination prior to the pouring of the culture media. Just lay a sheet of paper on the table, place the petri dish at the center, fold the longer sides of the paper until the two folds overlap, fold downward the remaining sides of the paper, then seal with the masking tape. Plugging is done to avoid contamination of the media in test tubes and e flasks after autoclaving. Cotton and gauze are used for plugging because it allows sterile air to enter the media for aerobic culture requirement, consequently preventing any other unwanted microorganisms from contaminating the culture media. To make a cotton plug, cut the gauze into square depending on the diameter of the tube or flask. Then place a lump of cotton at the center. Cover the cotton completely with the gauze and feed with the mouth of the tube or flask. The plug must have a snugly fit, not too tight that it will cause the tube to break, or not too loose that it will fall easily. To ensure this, you can refill the amount of the cotton until it makes a popping sound once pulled from the test tube or flask. After getting the proper feet, tie and cut the excess gauze from the plug. Additionally, aluminum foil can also be used to cover the cotton plugs before putting in the autoclave. Wrap petri plates are put in an autoclavable plastic before sterilization. <music>